Good day, I'm Robert Weimer, the go-to guy of DesireADifference.com. First of all, we are going to go through the goal, goals of this training exercise and the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Let's go ahead and go through the differences, shall we? And we can find our differences at um, en.support.wordpress.com. Basically, if you go and you do a Google search, such as we'll go ahead and do here, in your search engine of choice, you can type in wordpress.com org difference. And that will usually show up at the very top of your search results. We'll go ahead and click on to that. And we'll go into just a very brief, I'm not going to read this word for word. I'll allow you to go here and read it at your discretion. But essentially, the difference between the .com and the .org is this. The .com allows you a certain number of themes, I think roughly about a hundred, but you can't customize those themes. They allow you a certain amount of plugins to help promote your site and to make it more organic, but the um, you cannot upload any plugins. Um, WordPress.com will back up your site and they will administer your site on their website and .org, you have to upload the WordPress site on your own and you have to find your own host. For the basics of this exercise, we are going to be going over the WordPress.org version of your website. Now, a big difference with the WordPress.com versus WordPress.org, and they don't really state it here, but if you are running a commercial site, you cannot use the WordPress.com. You must use the WordPress.org. Uh, quite some time ago, the founders of the .com side basically stated that they didn't want to be responsible for the content or for businesses, that sort of thing going up uh, to be able oh, to not offend anyone, that sort of thing. So they sort of broke it off into the WordPress.org. Now the WordPress.org has many advantages. Um, you can upload your own plugins. You can, um, and there are thousands of plugins to use, both free and paid. You can edit your own theme. You can create your own theme if you wish, and um, it just makes for a lot easier means of customization and we are going to go through from start to finish setting up your WordPress website and um, you are going to find that it's a lot easier than what is made out to be or what you might be thinking. The nice thing about the .org is that the plugin features. There are a ton of plugins out there that will allow your site to be very sticky, meaning that people stay on it longer, will make it very organic, and that sort of thing. Let me show you real quick my site, which you probably have been on. Let's see, make sure I can type here, D-I-F-F-E-R-E-N-C-E dot -E -E com. I want to show you just examples of some plugins that are available. And this magazine theme is here and it's free. Right here, off to the left hand side, let's connect, sign up for my newsletter, the audio player here, the Facebook like button, the retweets, these are all plugins that you can do. RSS subscriptions, um, just a lot of plugins and I mean I haven't even tapped into anything really on my site you just have depending upon your business you can upload and create if you have a programming aptitude you can create your own plugins let's take a look at another site I manage get real wellness solutions .com. this is another site I manage she basically keeps pretty much everything 
very streamlined, not a lot of plugins, but here we have a, a theme that you wouldn't be able to find on the .com site. We're going to go ahead and check into one other site here. Leslie United Methodists. This is my church's website that I managed and that I created here. It loads up here. Here we have the Facebook like button. We go into some of our posts and the video is going to pop on here just as soon as it loads. And you can have video. This video player is a plug-in. And of course you have your retweets. Oh, Hello. excuse me. But as you can see, you can you can use uh, this video plugin as well as an audio plugin, like you saw on my site, to be able to make your site into something rather spectacular. Um, for my preference and for what we are going to be going through, we prefer, or I prefer, the WordPress.org version of WordPress. It just allows for more customization. Again, there are some back-end things that you have to do, such as you have to back up your own site, which is really easy. We'll get into that. And um, I look forward to showing you the extreme power of WordPress. And again, if you happen, if you want to go ahead and check out the support, the WordPress.com versus WordPress.org, and read the differences for yourself, go ahead and go into your search engine of choice and type in WordPress.com org difference, and it should be at the very top of your page. I'm Robert Weimer of DesireAdifference.com. If you'd like to know more about this or know more about me or find out wonderful information, just sign up for our newsletter. Have a fantastic day.